It's time for Orchard CMS. After creating your Orchard Core web application, you want people to visit your website. Azure gives you a URL, but it's located at their azurewebsites.net domain. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a secure custom domain with a free certificate from the Let's Encrypt Certificate Authority. <music> Welcome back to Orchard CMS. Let's get started by setting up a secure custom domain with a free certificate from the Let's Encrypt Certificate Authority. In a previous video, we used CICD to create an Azure app service to host our My Orchard Core CMS web application. Let's go to the Azure portal and configure a secure custom domain for this app service. Let's start out by going to the Azure portal. So here we are at the My Orchard Core CMS app service here. And you'll notice down here, there's a section for custom domains. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see this brings up some information on how to host your custom domain. One of them is to use HTTPS only. And I recommend that. So let's get, go ahead and enable that. So let's click on the little add custom domain button. So let's go ahead and use myorchardcorecms.com. So let's go ahead and click on the validate button. In order to host this, Microsoft basically is asking you to enter some DNS entries for text and an A record. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is utilize the IP address. So copy that. And then we want to go to a, our domain register. And my domain register is hover. So let's go ahead and edit these records here. And let's replace those with that IP address. Save changes. Edit the other one. Save changes. Okay, let's head back. And now we have to also add a My Orchard Core CMS dot Azure Websites dot net. Copy that. Go back to our domain register and let's add a record. And this time it's going to be a text record. And we're going to use this guy. And let's paste that in and let's set the time to live to five minutes. And then let's go ahead and add that record. Now let's switch back to the Azure portal and let's go ahead and click the validate button again. And there you go. We have both our host name availability checked and also our domain ownership. Now let's go to the site SSL for free. And at this site, we can create a let's encrypt certificate. So let's go ahead and put our domain name in. Press on the Create Free SSL Certificate. And now let's go ahead and select Manual Verification. So now let's go ahead and click on the Manual Verified Domain. And so you can see here it's asking to add these following DNS records to our domain register. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's copy this guy here. Back to hover. Add a record. Select text. Paste that. Back here. Add the value. Paste here, select five minutes, and add that record. Go back to certificate, select this, back here, add another text record, paste. 
paste and add this value. And select five minutes. And so there we go, we added those two records. Now let's go back to the SSL for free site. And let's go ahead and verify this again. And you can see that it was found. The little red warning is that the TTL is not set to one because we can't do that in Hover. The minimum value is five. So go back here and let's look at the other one. And record is found. So that's all set up. So now let's go ahead and download the SSL certificate. Click on that. And there's our SSL certificate. So now let's go ahead and download all the SSL certificates. And now we're all set. Unfortunately, we can't load these certificates directly into Azure. It requires a personal information exchange. So we're going to have to convert those. So let's go over to decode linker and let's go ahead and enter the certificate. Private key. and a CA bundle. And then a password. And let's convert. Okay, so let's hit download. And there we go. Now let's head back to the Azure portal. And let's hit the add custom domain button. There we go. So we have myorchardcorecms.com. Let's go ahead and click on the TLS SSL binding. So let's go ahead and upload certificate. And we'll select a file. Select that guy. And put a password in. upload okay now we'll choose a certificate and then the type which is SSN and then we'll go ahead and add the binding and there you go we have an SSL certificate on my orchard core CMS.com so let's go ahead to the website there you go. We have myorchardcorecms.com connected to our Azure app service. Let's go back to the Azure portal. Okay, let's go ahead and add custom domain. And add www.myorchardcore.cms and hit validate. And you'll notice that here we need to create a C record with your DNS provider. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's copy this. And go back to our provider. And let's add a record. This time it'll be a C name. And it will be www. Set this to five minutes. And let's go ahead and paste. And add record. There you go. Now let's head back to the Azure portal and let's go ahead and add another custom domain this time for the www. And let's go ahead and enter that right here, www.myorchardcorecms.com. Click the validate button. And there we go. Our host name availability is successfully and also our domain ownership so 
That's great. So now we can hit the Add Custom Domain button. And there you go. Now we have www.myorchardcorecms.com. So let's go ahead and add a binding to that. Click on that. And choose our certificate, our type, and then go ahead and add the binding. And there you go. We have myorchardcorecms.com and also www.myorchardcorecms.com set up for an SSL certificate. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Go back here. Now let's try um, changing it to just an HTTP. So if we just select that guy, it should redirect to the HTTPS. So hit enter, and there you go. It redirected. Isn't that cool? So now let's go ahead and let's select www. Hit enter, and there you go. It redirected. So we go look at that. It redirected at www.myorchard.car. So all of our DNS is set up and we're all ready to go for both www and site. That's great. To recap on what we accomplished, we set up a secure custom domain for our Azure App Service with a free certificate from the Let's Encrypt Certificate Authority. Now, if you missed or didn't understand something, that's okay. There is a detailed blog post that describes all the steps. There is also a GitHub repository with the complete source code. All the information is in the video description. If you like the video, please click on the thumbs up icon. Also, please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications when I release the next video. Thank you for watching.